Okay, this is my B95's little bitty turbo. Uh, it needs a switchblade, I'm sure. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here, I've got a camera that I think I can fit inside of here. It's gonna sit inside this tube. And I'm gonna put the air filter back on it. I'm gonna close everything up. I'm gonna use a leaf blower to blow in the exhaust and we're gonna see if we can make this turbo spin. Um, my suspect, I suspect that it will not. Now, if it does, I may have to load it on the trailer and we may have to haul it down the road just to see if we get the same result if we were to, um, you know, haul it down the road. But <laughs> I've never had a turbo failure out of the three backhoes I've owned. Well, the first, first one don't count, it didn't have a turbo. The second two did have turbos, never had a turbo failure. Uh, I suspect they don't, I mean, I haul this thing almost every day, and I suspect they don't turn when they're being hauled, but I will, I'm going to share the results with you. Um, it may open my eyes. I may need to rethink the way I do things. We'll see. Okay, so I got the camera. You're actually looking at my, my phone is connected to the camera. The camera is if i move this around here you can see it's it's live it's not just a picture of my turbine inside the turbo or the impeller i guess not turbine let me get the blower set up here and we'll see if we can make it spin i'll show you if if you want to look there there's four bars of battery on my nice leaf blower here I'm going to put it to the exhaust pipe and we're going to see if we get it to spin. Okay, that was stuck in the exhaust pipe. And if you want to see how I did that, I'll show you right here. Now, there's probably a couple of things different happening here than might happen on a truck. And, and one thing would be you're not getting any airflow over the hood of the tractor. Um, you're not getting any airflow through the air filter. But the air filters are not in the tractor. So... I'm saying there's a minimum amount of air coming through here that's going to cause enough turbulence or enough airflow to actually spin a turbo. I didn't see it move. Now, you, I don't know if you, if you want proof of this video. I don't know if you want any other evidence. But in my opinion, I don't think I need to go any farther with this test because if you put the air filters in here, it's going to restrict that airflow even, even more because the airflow has to go through the exhaust, backwards through the turbo, through the engine, uh, through the couple of valves that are probably open. At any, any given time, you've got valves open in your engine. So it can happen. Now, the thing though is, is the airflow is actually having to go through the exhaust side backwards and the intake side backwards. And the way a turbo is built, that's not the natural way for them to spin. Now, it would be more likely, in my opinion, if you pressurize the air intake side, you might get, well, let's just try it. You might get it to spin if you go through the intake side. Let's see if it actually does that. So got the blower stuck in there. We're pretty clean. I didn't see anything happen. Turbo did not move. Okay, so... <laughs> I 
I'm going to say that it doesn't need to be blocked. I don't think you need to cover your exhaust when you move your equipment. Now, that being said, if you're a truck driver, you probably ought to cover this just for a liability aspect. If you're equipment operator, owner operator like me, I've never covered an exhaust on a backhoe I've owned. I've never had a turbo failure. So I'm convinced this is enough convincing here for me that uh, I don't think you'd need to worry about it. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but I've got her all sealed off pretty much. Um, and like I say, this is just a 40 volt cobalt. This is not a, it's not like a steel or something gas powered. It's just a electric leaf blower. But I am going to turn it on. We'll see if we get anything to move now. Um, again, this is a camera that's inside my exhaust. You can see if I move this wire, this is a live feed. It's not a static camera. Once again, that's with the air filters out. Uh, with the air filters in, I believe it would be even harder for airflow to move a turbo. Um, if you see a problem with the way I did this test, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you have a way of testing this that works better, let me know. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on this kind of stuff, but I had a little free time today and uh, I got a little rested up from the weekend, so I thought, you know, this is a good time to mess with this. Um, it's uh, it's interesting to me. This kind of stuff interests me um, because is it myth or is it fact? Sometimes we don't know. Um, one of those deals, I just wanted to do a test myself. Um, if you guys know of another test where you've seen this done, put a link to it in the comments. I'd like to see it. Um, like I say, once again, you guys are the best part of YouTube. I appreciate you watching and subscribing. And this is going to be it for my little test here. I'm not going to go on the road because now if I had actually seen this thing spin, I would have put the filters in next. Uh, we would have tested there. If it would have spun there, then we would be loading it on a truck and we would be hauling it to see if it spins there. But since we didn't get anything with this, I mean, this is pressurizing the system. I don't know how many, I ought to test that. Okay, here we are back. I wanted to be sure you guys understood I'm getting positive pressure on my exhaust pipe. Uh, what I've got here, this is a piece of tubing. I've got some water. I've got marks where the water's at in this uh, makeshift. Uh, oh, there's a name for it. I just went blank. Um, Anyway, there is a hole out the bottom of this exhaust pipe and it's a straight through from the blower down to the, what that does is if it gets rain in the exhaust pipe, it lets it drain out. And you can see there's black soot uh, from that happening. I mean, when water runs down through there. So that's a direct, I mean, that's the, we're testing the positive. We're gonna see if we got positive pressure with this blower. Um, and as we do that, I'm going to show you that we're still not getting any movement. So let me, uh, let me trigger the blower up here. Hey, Roxy. You want to help me out? I'm going to put a zip tie on the trigger. So we've got, what is that, about six inches of uh, water, other water levels down here. We still don't have anything moving. So.
So here's another thing, guys. When you look at a turbo and the way they work, the exhaust comes up through here and it spins the tips of the turbo and from there it compresses down and it blows out the center of the exhaust okay so basically you're you're putting a reaction on the tip of the i may be mistaken on this there's probably terminology i don't know i'm not a turbo man but this is a country boy's thoughts on this um if you put air into the turbo this direction you're not causing a reaction you're not causing basically all you're doing is you're taking this air and it's going to swirl it's going to go down into the exhaust it's going to go through the open valves that are open it's going to come back into uh, the the only reaction you might get would be from air flowing backwards through here now it doesn't make sense to me how that could really spin up a turbo and make it burn out but that, those are my thoughts on it um i'm not an authority i'm i'm just a guy that runs equipment i work on the stuff a little bit so just my thoughts on it um also you factor in a wastegate you factor in some of this stuff on these modern uh you know the air filter alone has back pressure I mean, you can't tell me that you're going to get free flowing air through an air filter. So it takes a lot of air to get a turbo spinning is what I found. I'm not sure I could even do it. Um, I may be able to do it if I put a leaf blower on the, on the, possibly, you could possibly get it to blow. And I didn't try that. It, it'd be a lot of work to disconnect my intake manifold and put a leaf blower directly on there. You could probably get it to spin if you did that, but you're going to be spinning it backwards and it's not really made to push air out that direction. It's made for airflow in this way. It spins it out through the intake and then the exhaust spins this side. Actually, this side does all the driving on an engine. This one is just a compressor. This is the turbine. So, and in my opinion, a turbine won't work in reverse. So you don't really have any way to make that wind up or any way to make that go. I think it's a myth. That's my thoughts.